Yo, what it do? It's your boy back out again with another fucking Shovel Knight episode. <laughs> hey, you're being lazy this time, all right? This is your fault. You all wanted to see the exciting conclusion to Kyle's being mishaps and failures. <laughs> but I, I'm pretty sure you wanted to see that at least, so I, I've made the express decision for you to not switch the game through no fault <laughs> of my own. I am a benevolent. I am a benevolent and loving YouTube creator, and Hunt you should all bow before and thank me. Hunter's sad and tired because he doesn't like being away gene as KG. <laughs> yeah, yeah, work started up again, and... Well, at least you're making money again, you know? Oh, fuck this. Like, barely, though, because... Uh, I work in the service industry, right? I, I, I do food stuffs, and no one's coming in because, you know... Yeah. Like, like your first day out of your of fucking quarantine, are you gonna go to some ba not You're even gonna... like like if it, if I worked at a McDonald's or some <laughs> shit? All right, fair enough. Well, you would have like, still you're like, been working this whole time for one. Yeah. Right. Essential workers of McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. You, you'd be like, ah, I gotta get me nuggies. Oh, that's right. That's what you're fucking supposed to do. Completely forgot this boss yeah. fight. Haven't been practicing. Sorry about that, listener. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no one expected you to. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't. But uh, no, I work at fucking Chili's, and who on their first day out is going to go? Ah, Chili's. Go to Chili's. Like, like, you can't even walk the door, because people aren't going to be like, hi, welcome to Chili's, because they have to stay seven feet apart from you. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, the, literally the only reason to go to Chili's, and it's not there anymore. Yeah, the only reason to go to Chili's is for the memes. Like, it's not even, I mean, it's better than fucking Applebee's, at least, but like, hey, come yeah, on. Yeah. That's, that's not a great accomplishment. I like to say that Chili's is um, better Applebee's, but worse BJ's. Yeah. Or you could just, like, I don't know, make your own food. I guess the whole point is that it's like a bar thing, right? Uh, yeah, it's like a sports bar. That's so you, depressing. So you go there with, you go there with your mates when you. How, like, dude, first <laughs> try? What the fuck? I just. How last, hard was that? Last time was just um an anomaly, my guy. I think. <laughs> just last time, I was the worst person possible. Or maybe, like I said at the beginning of the video, I was fucking with you the whole time. <laughs> I don't, again, I don't believe you even a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, with that, we have one more night and then the final boss. Yeah, that's gonna be... We're at the end of the fucking game, my dude. That's yeah. gonna be pretty spicy. Glad what the I... fuck are we gonna play next? Uh, I have several ideas, of which I'm probably gonna that's cool. force your hand into doing. Um, oh, no. Well, the next quote-unquote thing that would have been on the channel, not necessarily that you and I would have done, was going to be Kodor. But, uh... That, uh, that didn't end up working out, uh, <laughs> as I tried earlier today. <laughs> uh, what, what happened with Kodor? Uh, well, I tried recording that with, uh, well, Ace, um, <laughs> as he's preferring to go by. Um. I, seriously? <laughs> no, uh, so. Okay. Uh, he, he sort of jokingly was going to a tiny bit, but. Mm. No. Our uh, other friend you're talking other, about, right? <laughs> our other friend. Of, of which we, we have, only have see, one See, we have many. We're not alone and sad. <laughs> Except we are. We kind of Okay, are. no, I have to... That's right. Yeah, you have to get near the fan. Yeah. Fuck, I fucked it up again. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm so glad that wasn't a bottomless pit. Uh, I'm not doing the death you... counter this time, by the way. That was a fucking one-off. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> I took so much extra effort. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Oh, I, I didn't appreciate put that. enough to the fucking fan. <laughs> At least it's not a bottomless pit, right? <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, no. So to 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 veer me incredibly, I uh, know, yeah, you were on a story. Never mind. Yeah, finish your story. So Kyle, I... use the falling block, and as the block is about ground level, um, fucking I... walk into the fan. Yeah, well, fuck it. Let's just move on. I don't deserve that treasure. Clearly, no, no, you don't. <laughs> Yeah, no. So I was trying to uh, play KOTOR with uh, DJ Khaled. And... <laughs> yeah, DJ Khalid. We know him personally. <laughs> yeah, no, he's a pretty cool guy. He gives us a lot of money, usually. So this is already going to be a hell of a level, I can tell. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're in the first two frames. Yeah, no, I know. I, I'm i cool. aware. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know... A long time ago, I might be depressed about my shitness, but now I just laugh. 
it's... I have no controller and I must scream. <laughs> Good, I'm glad you don't. Oh, you can just walk yeah. through that. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what that is. It's just a it's just a visor. Okay. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. Um. Yeah. Tried to record Koto. Koto. Yeah. Koto. Koto. But the. What, oh. Right there. Visors. I, oh God. And don't forget, you can smack the the fireballs back. Oh. Yeah. So you don't take damage every single fucking time. <laughs> I'm also realizing they do a lot of fucking damage. No, you've taken a lot of damage. <laughs> Ding! Um. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. So, oh god, this is a long level. <laughs> yes, Kotor uh, has. <laughs> <laughs> Ding! So, Kotor has copyright protections because it's a Star Wars game, right? Like you that can't... makes sense. Yeah, so you can't record it conventionally. That was the main issue, uh, among other that's things. That's a shame. Um. Ma mainly yeah. of which Caleb's, uh, you know. You, you would you would scream and cry if uh, I introduced another person without your permission. Ah, you no, wouldn't actually just be an asshole. <laughs> I do not care even a little bit. Yeah. Still don't deserve that treasure, apparently. Nope. You don't deserve much, man. <laughs> <laughs> so to somebody. rapidly bring us away from this this tragedy that's taking place in front of me, <laughs> um, we have a tragedy in real life. Mm. A tragedy of um, what? A, uh, uh, a a guy died. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a guy by the name of uh, Shad Gaspard. <laughs> now, I didn't actually know his name, but yeah, a certain guy died. Um... Yeah. Yeah, it's a <laughs> shame. Uh, for those not in the know, Shad Gaspard is, um, he did the mocap for Kratos of the God of War series. Oh. And he's a WWE wrestler. Oh. So, yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're talking about so, yeah. I, oh, who do you? I, I who, who are you you're talking on the about? Same page about who died. Um, this is interesting. Uh, huh? You have a you died story too. <laughs> interesting. Yeah, I'd completely forgot until you mentioned it. Cool. Another topic to fucking talk about. <laughs> Yay. Anyway, so yeah, Shad Gaspard died, and he died in what I feel is the most God of War four way possible. Um, he and uh, he and his son got caught in a riptide. Wow. Much like someone I know <laughs> had done at one point. And, um, Who could that somebody be? Yeah. And, uh, well, his son got caught in a riptide. He swam out into the, into the ocean, grabbed the kid, and like, literally threw him back to shore. Wow. Uh, yeah. That is rad I mean, as like, hell. He obviously didn't throw him all the way, but he threw him enough of the way to, you know, help the kid, uh, help the kid get out. He unfortunately got caught further in this action, and um, he he drowned. His uh, his his last words were, "Don't let my son drown." <laughs> Presumably. <laughs> no, no, those were his last words. Wait, really? Like there were people there. But how did how could they have heard if like how his did he drown heard. if there were people here there? Dude, I don't know. I didn't read the entire story. <laughs> All I know is that this is it's pretty it's, it's big sad. I, no, it is, it is big sad. Um, that's unfortunate. So, uh, yeah, somebody else died recently. Um, Who so, else died? Somebody, I mean, obviously, you know, that deaths are always topical, but, uh, so a black man died. Um, I don't know if you've seen this, but, uh, so, so somebody of ethnicity died. Um, Obama. From, uh, Obama's finally dead? <laughs> no. Uh, Those drone strikes finally got him in the back? No, just more police, more general police br brutality against uh, the minorities, my guy. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> well, How does the saying go? Fuck the police? A little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> now, yeah, what, what happened this time? Was he, like, autistic and his hands were tied behind his back and also he's blindfold shouting, please don't shoot me? Uh, no, but the, oh, okay. the cop restrained him by kneeling on his neck for 20 minutes. Mmm, you know what? <laughs> I saw a meme of this. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what it was talking about, though. <laughs> yeah. uh, you, you really should, uh, you know, occasionally read the news. Like, see the memes first and then be like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I just kind of assumed it was just a regular fuck police meme because you know, there are a lot of them. There, there are. I mean, rightfully so. Gener you know, fuck the police. Generally speaking. I mean, here, here's the thing, right? We should have been... Oh, damn it. Missed it. Missed it just by a little bit. Um... 
we should have been listening to black people for a lot longer than whites typically have been, man. They've been right about a lot. All of their songs for the past, like, 30 years have been fuck bitches and fuck... Bitches ain't shit and fuck the police. Both of those sentiments seem pretty correct from where I'm standing. <laughs> also, how do you beat this guy without taking damage? This is upsetting me. Uh, jump when he hits the ground, smack him in the side. Okay. Don't try to bounce on his head. He has pellers. That's, yeah. I mean, <laughs> when nothing else in the game so far has really posed a threat from standing on it other than spikes, you just kind of get used to like, oh, yeah, I can jump on that. I mean, the, the gimmick for this level is these cannonballs that you are supposed to jump on, but, eh. You know. Generally, you see spinny blades, and you're like, all right, let's not fuck with that. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, just... <sighs> So yeah, I didn't hear I about this, uh, this recent this police. Game a lot. I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm surprised, right, that the police are managing to get all their police brutalities in, what with quarantine going on. They like six feet apart, time. and they still manage to do it, dude. Still... <laughs> Honestly, props to our boys in blue. They know how to get shit done. <laughs> I know. Why do I hate the government? It's like they, they actually do their job. I do actually have some respect for cops, because it's like, here's the thing. There are good cops. The, the, it's just the inherent idea of cops is kind of negative on top of them all being assholes. <laughs> well, yeah, no, nah, I way. all of my governmental respect goes straight to firefighters, and that's about it. Yeah, basically. Definitely firefighters, fucking lawmakers. Firefighters and, like, maybe EMTs, but I don't think they're government officials. Uh, They might be. I could mm, be wrong there. No, I don't think healthcare is, our gov healthcare is government. Yeah, so then straight up just firefighters. I'd like my treasure back, please. Thank you. <laughs> you don't deserve it. <laughs> well, when you ever just want right to get three there. dudes to fly occasionally? <laughs> okay, now, you say, you, say, you say that, like, sort of... Also, uh, you can launch the bombs back at them. Mm. You, you say that, uh, sort of, like, disingenuously, but, uh... Wouldn't you love to do this? Like, get, Would you like to start a bobsled team, Kyle? Place? I'm hearing that you want to start a bobsled team. Let's fucking do it. <laughs> Winter Olympics are coming up. Uh, no, that's completely incorrect. Oh, well, Winter Olympics will be here by the time our bobsled team is ready. <laughs> Who's our fourth man? Is bobsledding even require physical, like, ath ath athleticism? Like, it's say, gotta, another right? sport in the uh, Olympics does? Y you say, you know... You'd think that, but maybe not. I, I don't... I, a... I, I'm actually not... Fuck. I, cause, uh, you gotta, you've got to coordinate with your bros. Mm. Which, you know, that's, that's hard. Yeah. Um, and I can't imagine turning the thing as easy in any capacity. Oh, yeah. Well, I figured it just... <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, it's just like a sled ride, right? Just trying to do it the fastest. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's I mean, other like, shit. Kind of, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna fucking die here. God yep. damn it. <sighs> <laughs> the order of no quarter ain't fucking around anymore. Yeah, they're no, like, ah, I mean, shit. They are in the second to last boss. So I really think they're kind of done fucking around. <laughs> mm. So, remember how a couple weeks back, or was it last week? I think it was a couple weeks back. Remember how a couple weeks back we were talking about uh, a really, really good TV show, The Midnight Gospel? Yes. Well, I'm not going to talk about that right now. <laughs> we're going to talk about a really, really, a show that actually I thought was going to be incredibly shit. Uh, yeah, I honestly, I wanted to watch this show for a while, like I, right after I finished Midnight Gospel, but I, I couldn't bring myself to do it for the longest fucking time. What show? Uh, Too Hot to Handle on Netflix. Okay, I've not... I think I've heard about this, but literally just the title and nothing else. Yeah, right. Um, from what I saw, and from what the Netflix description, advertisement, or whatever, will tell you, is it's, it's like a sexy game show. Se sexy Survivor. That sounds horrible. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I was thinking. And I was like, alright. Well, Granted, let's... let's I, I can imagine you want to watch that just because, like, you know, fucking, oh, hey, I get to laugh at, like, trashy people. <laughs> yeah, see, uh, God, me and my friend have been watching more Jersey Shore. Um, <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> it's so sad. I can't stop. I need help. I know all their names now. That is, that's not helping. Kyle, I know all their names. That's I have a favorite. 
That's not shout out, <laughs> shout out to Vinny, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I had a drug dealer named Vinny. He's a cool guy. Oh, neat. Um, but actually, no. The gimmick for Too Hot to Handle isn't very uh, isn't very well stated in a uh, Fuck Netflix's... you, man. <laughs> so what is the, what and, is the and, premise of it? So they, they're a bunch of incredibly attractive individuals, obviously, mm. who have been placed on a resort island to do resort shit. Okay. But they, and there's one or two rules, though. No sex. But they're all a bunch of attractive people, right? They're all incredibly attractive sex addicts. And they get kicked off if they have sex. Not quite. There is a $100,000 prize fund, and for every sex act taken, the, the, the prize fund is uh, subtracted from. I'm surprised I was able to get all my fucking shit back and not die again. Yeah, that, huh. <laughs> so, okay, so it's literally keep your hand on the car, except with sex. <laughs> Wait, keep your hand on the car? You never heard of that? Like, I don't know that. The long, the person that it, it's a stupid competition that boomers used to have, it, sort of like TV oh yeah, stuff. keep your hand on the car for like you know just be the last one and you get the car. I remember that, yeah. Um, kind of. Well, it, it's it's more of like the whole point of the show is to teach these nymphos how to build actual proper relationships, as opposed uh, to just you know meaning like sex. That's gonna work out perfectly, not. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't. Um, <laughs> yeah. But there was an attempt, and the attempt was cute. All right. Oh, okay. I, I figured my, out as soon as what this room was about, as, as soon as I made that jump. So. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my biggest problem with the show was that you can tell that there was it, it wasn't a proper reality show. There was so much producer meddling involved, Aww, and it's that's... so vibrantly, blatantly obvious. That's upsetting because, like, that's what makes trashy shows like that watchable. Mm -hmm. No, see, well, like, the, honestly, the first couple episodes are the only good ones because that's where. Yeah, that's where edit, uh, the producers were very hands off. But just mm. as the show went on, you can tell, like, oh, all right, there's fuckery going on here. That happens with like almost every show, though, man. But just the time scale when that happens varies. Yeah. So since it happens within the first couple episodes, Jesus, uh, that's uh, that's that's a horrible. Well, there for the fucking there show. There are there are only like eight episodes. Oh, okay. Well. I hope yeah. it doesn't get another season. Ah, uh, it it probably will. It, it, it's it wasn't a bad show. I I genuinely enjoyed watching it. It's just the meddling was really blatant and it fucked with me. Mm. Uh, <laughs> like for example, for example. Yeah. Uh, my favorite character was a dude named Jesus. <laughs> his name? Oh, I know his name wasn't Jesus. His name was his, Matthew, oh, but okay. everyone called him Jesus because he had. His long hair yeah. um that, yeah that, that's literally it uh i'd like to hit my checkpoint now game thank you <laughs> yeah so the wind goes up and down in this level so okay, you just gotta yeah you gotta, you gotta play gotta, gravity guy gotta vibe with it man you got yeah you just don't <gasps> fucking you dumbass <laughs> okay so haven't you ever played gravity guy that I, old that old mini clip game no no i haven't not really no Fuck. Okay, I oh, need well. to. I need to think so I can get my treasure back. Cause that's kind you of. Just got, you just got. You're not gonna get that treasure back. I, mm. Unless you time it perfectly, but I guarantee if you go for it, you're gonna end up losing more treasure. Okay. Ooh. Mm. All right. All right. Got it. Look at you. All right. I just gotta not die here. <laughs> Nice. Easy. All right. So what, what was this thing? Oh yeah. So Jesus was my favorite character. He was super wholesome and like, how uh, how do you? He was just he just said shit that made everyone go, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. As, as in you do. Oh like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> but um, you can tell at around the fourth episode, the producers were like, all right, you're not making enough waves. You're not, you're not being dramatic enough. Make an excuse. Get off the island. Mm. And that made me sad. But, and, like, you can tell that, uh, that that's the way they did it instead of uh, the stated reason of he just didn't feel an emotional connection with anyone on the island. Right. Or whatever. You can tell that that was the reason because they didn't give him any more airtime whatsoever after that, especially in the, uh, the what is it called? The, the rap party episode? Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially on that. They were like, oh, yeah, he's here, but we're not going to talk very much at all. 
<laughs> Fuck no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know why I you're expecting to keep your money at all. I I was focusing too much on your story to <laughs> properly play the game. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no. I honestly, all in all, I was I was pleasantly surprised by the by the the show. So I, I thought it was just going to be possibly could have been. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was just going to be some more trash, fucking, just more trash TV that I can gape at, much like a car wreck, so mm. that I can complain about it to uh, to you people. But um, <laughs> nah. I, I I like I saw the first episode and I was like, oh, this is going to be bad. It's horrible. And then I just yeah. kept watching it. And then I was like, all right, well, fuck, and I'm invested now. <laughs> yeah. So I also watched something recently, something that quite upset me. <laughs> um, was it my sex tape? No. So <laughs> Good. It's mine. You can't have it. Okay. Okay, I figured out what I was <laughs> Oh, buddy. No, buddy. No, that's not what you do. Yeah, all right, you have, to get, you have to get down to where the magic jar is, and then when the wind is blowing right, run forward and jump with the wind. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for telling me, friend. <laughs> yeah, no problem. No problem. <sighs> you, you need it. You need all the help you can get. Well, it's because I'm so, trying uh, to what? think of the story. Yeah, no, so I saw I saw a Flash Gets animation that really upset me. I don't a know what? if you saw it. It was a new one. Wait, wait. Wait, a what? You never seen Flash Gets? I don't uh, no. it's an It's an anime. It's sort of a... It's a more raunchy animation fucking thing that's on uh, YouTube. And um, a lot of them are kind of just a little distasteful. It's kind of like Shad Base for me, you know? Oh, uh, okay. <sighs> um, Shad Base being the, the porn artist who draws the girl with the penises, right? Well, of course, yes. Um, Hunter, link that video. You know the one I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, please link that video. I know which one you're talking about as well. Um, All right, cool. Yeah, no, uh, it's kind of like Flash Gets almost, and that's raunchy and not like kind of like a great way you know um right so oh God. <laughs> yeah so i saw flash goods animation that was the simpsons um <laughs> now, i get it because simps yeah now here's the thing i really don't need to even tell you or describe to you what went on in the fucking animation because just I, from the yeah. name you already know what happened um, i know exactly what happened yes <laughs> and but um, what happened uh oh just uh fucking well, you know the main characters, right? Homer, Marge, all that. Uh, Vaguely. Marge gets an OnlyFans account, and then Homer oh, doesn't oh, agree with okay. it. okay. Yeah, no, then, I, like, I know exactly what happens. And then they get divorced. So, <laughs> now, here's here's what upset me, is from the dialogue and stuff, it was almost kind of as though Flash Gets was, like, on the side of the women here. And, like, honestly, like... I, I don't know about you, but I, I'm I'm not down with OnlyFans. Fuck OnlyFans. Um, I mean, I kind of agree. Like, like do what you want. You are a pirate, but eh. it's just yeah. like I'm gonna say something super fucked up right now. So <laughs> very fair warning for this fucked up thing I said. I say, um, you know, you know that really old meme. That just says, ah, oh, what women think they're going to do in, in an apocalypse. And it's like Katniss <laughs> and, you know, and shit. Like, where there are very, very empowering women doing really empowering land-leading stuff. And then what women are actually going to do in an apocalypse. And it's just a bunch of women on the street. Praise the sun, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This um, guy's got the helmet for it. That, that meme came out far, far before Corona. <laughs> and now Corona's here, and OnlyFans' stock went up fucking hella for some reason. Yeah, that's upsetting. Um, <laughs> but no, I just, honestly, I just don't agree with it, because it's like, it, it, it's because of the social stigma around it, and rather the lack thereof, because they're making OnlyFans accounts, and yet they're, like, not calling it porn, and, like, they're not having the same shame as porn. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> They're yeah, not getting the same cool. sort of, like, shame that you would get from doing porn societally, you know? Mm hmm Right, right. So, like, like, you're saying, like, a porn star is... Like, they I have to know, actually I... sacrifice a little bit of dignity to make money Honestly, with it. I have I have more respect for porn stars as compared to people with OnlyFans. <sighs> Damn it. Um... Like, setting up and maintaining and uh, producing an OnlyFans is next to no effort. Yeah. That's that's a major part of it. 
Um. <laughs> like, I will admit, there are some very professional ones out there that put a lot of work into it, and, you know, props to you. Those are basically independent porn artists, and I, significantly more um, impressive than the corporatized uh, porn that there is, because, you know... Yeah. At least you get to set your own. You set your own. Uh, you set your own standards for what you feel like you want to do, rather than having them be dictated you by uh, by your boss. Right. But it's just it's the basic thoughts that just that, like you know the type that are like ah oh, subscribe to my premium Snapchat. <laughs> I'm poor and sad. Yeah, and they're making a lot more money than premium Snapchat kind of stuff does now. Eh. Well, because of course they are. It's a, it's a platform now. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's motherfucker. I was close too. Um, I mean, it's all right. You got you. You you've actually ripped through this level. I'm I'm thoroughly impressed. Thank you. I'm I'm glad I did. What what time are we on, by the way? I don't know. Oh wait, <laughs> it's floor. 25 minutes. We're actually near the end. All that right, was cool. so huh? Pretty good timing so far. As long as I yeah. can fucking finish this. Yeah, it'll be fine. Um, this guy's actually yeah. not that hard. Nah. Unlike me. Anyways. <laughs> he, he is sick as shit, though, I gotta say. <laughs> like, he... <laughs> no, yeah, this is one of my favorite bosses, easily. Not the best song, though. Oh, fuck. This is a new thing. So, like, do you think we should... Like, wait, what do you think the strat is? Do you think we should get rid of OnlyFans? I don't know. <sighs> we need to just disencourage it societally, and that's the issue, is that no one's really... Gonna do that. So, like, you, you think that, yes, we should have OnlyFans around, but it should be stigmatized. Yes. Well, I mean, like, because I still believe in free market capitalism, but you should still be called a fucking slut for doing it. <laughs> and mm. that's not even a gender thing. Like, if a guy were to, and guys do, I'm sure, do it, you're also a fucking slut that shouldn't be doing it. Like, it's not a sexist thing. It's a person thing. You heard it here first, fo fo eh, you heard it here first, folks. Kyle's into slut shaming. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> Fuck you. Be monogamous. Uh, Stop putting your dick everywhere and spreading disease. And uh, shut up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I do think it's interesting though, is that it's really bringing to light because of I don't know if you've seen like fucking responses to the popularity of OnlyFans and how people are getting called simp. Like they're shaming the people that are supporting them, which is a good start. But they're not sh shaming <laughs> the people that are uh, doing it as well. And here's the thing, right? A, yeah, simps are bad people. But B, it's really pointing you out. Have it, all, right, all right, Jorge and I had this discussion on a couple episodes back. What is a simp? Suckers idolizing mediocre pussy. And ah. idolizing mediocre pussy in the idea that the person is mediocre, not necessarily like for any just physical appearance reasons because uh, a lot of hot chicks on OnlyFans. Um, I can imagine. <laughs> I wouldn't know from first-hand experience. I just see fucking their leaked nudes on the internet because people are amazing. They buy their nudes and then, like, mm. just f distribute them for free. So that's, Did you hear about uh, that guy? Did you hear about that guy who was uh, subscribing to girls as OnlyFans? All right, two more levels. Subscribing to girls as OnlyFans and then... Uh, leaking the pictures to the girls' parents. Yeah, I saw that. That's amazing. Uh, <laughs> I mean, like, again, it, and it, I, it's I, heroes. It, he, he's the kind of hero that we need, <laughs> not the one that we deserve, you know? I completely forgot I, slimes even existed in this game. It's been, been a while. I can see why people would have a problem with that, but the... Um, you know, the and cap inside me is saying there is no problem with that whatsoever. Even if you um, are are totally in favor of OnlyFans, which eh, I'm not going to begrudge you for it. Um, even if you are in totally in favor, this guy purchased these images. He has the freedom to do whatever he wants with them. Yeah. They're his I can't now. Get over How do I get over there? There's a little ledge right there in the middle. See? Is there? Yeah, it's two gaps. Oh, it's not oh, one gap. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. Cool. Hey. Good on. Oh yeah, you mate. didn't find Chester in the left. Uh, you didn't find Chester in the last level, did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, oh did you? No, I didn't. No, you're right. I didn't. Shit. Yeah. Huh. Oh well. <laughs> That's fine. I remember there were moles this time. Mm -hmm. Bastards. Mm -hmm. Fucking moles. Uh, yeah. So finish up this bonus level, and uh, we'll be done, skis. Yeah, man. Do you uh? Have any final fun thoughts for, for our viewers to leave them with? Anything thought-provoking and original? 
Um, yeah, so... Like, imagine... Oh, fuck. Like, imagine if your fucking daughter wanted to get an OnlyFans, right? That is the, the biggest argument uh, against it. Yeah, and I mean, like, let's acknowledge the reality of here, right? Like, mm. yeah, the ANCAP within within you is like, yeah, this is all fine, and I get that, and, like, in a, in a certain way, <clears throat> I do uh, respect that, which is why I don't think OnlyFans should go away. Um, however, like, fucking let's... It's not just all legally consenting adults doing this. A lot of it is, like, fucking kids that have already been getting money from, like, Instagram for basically mm. just selling their body and modeling that are... Right. A lot of them are underage. You'd be surprised. Uh, just considering this and not people that are with well-developed minds doing this, you know? Right, right. Um, <laughs> kids uh, making dumb decisions. Oh, God, this guy. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna damage frame past you. Fuck you. I mean, like, you, you could, you could uh, make the argument that, though, that it's, it's on the same level as the girl who's stripping to put herself through college. Like, do you have any, do you have any qualms against that? I have no qualms against uh, what you do for money. I'll uh, just uh, accept the consequences that come societally and don't expect people to respect you for your choices. That's on the, just deadpan. That's how it is. Like, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, like, eh, fair enough. <laughs> tuna. I think that was a sushi. Oh, it was a tuna. Yes. All right. Uh, we're we're a little bit over time now, so let's ride this catapult and say <laughs> our goodbyes. Yeet. <laughs> the yeet cannon. Huzzah. Huzzah. Night, guys.